Today I'm going to talk to you about God's direction. It can change your whole day, your week, your month, perhaps your life as you learn this. It is releasing your grip on your will of what you want to happen and only want to happen and letting God take over and letting the good come into your life. So, I ask you to join me this day in full awareness of the divine instruction and direction that God will give you. May you be uplifted in this realization, and it is an uplifting thought that you wake up and you don't begin the day alone. You begin the day with God. Now, this means that you do not become upset if some plans change during the day. All is in divine order. Giving thanks for all the good that comes to you, you're able to flow along with the events of the day, moment by moment. As you follow divine direction, you do the work that is yours to do. You do it to the best of your ability. Working in a spirit of receptivity, you are receptive to God, and therefore you do not demand that everything goes according to your set schedule. You plan your day using wisdom and good judgment, affirming that God is directing each decision along the path of growth and unfoldment. Following divine direction, you find that your day is orderly. As you keep an open and receptive mind to God's direction, you will find that your day and your days end on a more positive note than they began. In the Bible, it says this, A man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Proverbs 16, verse 9. How many times I've seen that in my own life, and I pray that God will direct your steps in your life.